Now, Hamas recently attacked Israel before they literally start with that. Now, is it, now the thing is, we Muslims will always condemn the killing of innocents, Jewish people, uh, Christian people, pagans, Muslims, Jew, non-combatants, killing them. We Muslims are barred from heaven, M kill non-combatants in war and this is from the hadith a sahih narration so that part let's just put it out there now the fact is israel has been the the, the jewish people the Jew, the zionists have colonized palestine since 1948 ever since the british lost power and the palestinian plight has gone unheard for more than 70 years now you know so it's it's pretty bad there it is pretty bad there and especially the gaza the way it's blocked at the whole walls the way ben shapiro puts it that we walled it the jewish people zionists walled it up and they can just uh, rule on their own it's blocked a glorified version of a guantanamo bay that, that's what it basically is and now what's happened what is happening you will observe in the media i mean uh, in the social media that this attack from Hamas is now being used to justify nuking Gaza and already more than 200 airstrikes more than any you know Iraq, Afghanistan, any US attack on the Muslim world 200 strikes on, on Gaza so yeah what can I say man now you will you will literally see on Twitter, you know, people are posting videos of white phosphorus being used, how babies, dead babies. Yeah, on, me, on social media, on Twitter, you will see babies, dead babies. You know, people are carrying their child children on their hands, you know, dead children. It's hard to watch, man, and Islam is violent. They don't even say that Muslims are violent. Islam by nature is violent. That's what the mainstream narrative is, you know. Islam never did anything like that. Muslims didn't do anything like that, you know. People can argue, okay, you know, no, 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 no. The followers, adherents of a religion are, you know, completely segregated from what the actual religion propagates. But Islam never did that. Muslims never did that across our thousand years of history. Give me one where there were refugees in Islamic war or we decimated civilians just like that, you know. And the mainstream narrative has the gall. Ben Shapiro has the gall to call Islam out that Islam is just anti-Jew. Islam in Islam, in Islam, the Jewish community is from from the Quran, the fundamental book of Islam. They are said to be the most honored community, and God punished them for their ungratefulness and denying Prophet Muhammad. Otherwise, they were a very they were most honored among all communities. And even now, there are Sahih Hadith, Sahih narrations, completely authentic narrations which say that those who convert from Judaism and Christianity to Islam, they will get the double reward of any other Muslim, for example, a pagan converted to Islam. So such are the honor of Jews in Islam. And they have the people like morons like Ben Shapiro have the gall to call us out. Not, you know, that Muslims are barbaric, Arab people are just uh, violent who like to blow bombs up and live in the gutter. You know, remember that tweet? Remember it? Read the Jewish scripture, you know, the mainstream narrative against Islam. Read the Jewish scripture, the, the Old Testament and the New Testament. Very violent, very, very racist and violent. The way the Prophet Moses in the Bible decimated Amalekites and the Canaanites and even Abraham, Abraham and many of the biblical prophets living in the Cana in the land of Canaan still despising its people you know, in the Bible specifically in the Bible the Old Testament and the New Testament whichever version variation of the Bible it is you know your Masoretic text or King James version or the Roman Catholic version whichever text the Bible is very very violent and racist Jesus was racist a Jewish person, he was a Hebrew person. And there's a whole story about it where he called uh, the Gentiles dogs when a Greek lady came to uh, ask him to heal his mother because he was uh, popular, known for healing people, you know, healing the blind and the leper. And yet Ben Shapiro and many of these uh, Christian morons have the gall to say Islam is violent or uh, Muslims are violent. 
the situation is very very bad there's you know palestinians have every right to defend itself against terrorists zionism is a terrorist ideology israel israel is a terrorist state it's a colonizer like the british empire it, those are colonizers who have been settling in palestine since 90 uh, since before you know uh, 90 1920s or all of that you know since world war 1 you know many many books i will recommend about this you are already observing how the mainstream narrative is has been exposed to be very very racist and very very islamophobic game video through now jerry now you can see the area is completely deserted but one off the road okay jerry tell the cameraman to keep clarissa in shot oh, okay sit perfect okay. just look around as if you're in danger Try and look nice and scared. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Beautiful. That's the money shot. Derek, can you boost the volume on those explosions, please? We can't show the earlier bit because we want people to think you're in danger. And they just want to decimate the Muslim world and bomb it to oblivion. The very thing they accuse the Muslims of. You know, the very thing that their scriptures, the Christian scriptures, the Jewish scriptures uh, ordain as opposed to the Islamic scriptures, as opposed to what the Muslim world has ever perpetrated. Compare contrast that. Contrast ISIS with basically the whole of uh, White House and the whole of, you know, the uh, Israeli states, the Zionists. Now, to be honest, Jewish people, we have nothing against them. Jewish people, you have seen many, many Jewish uh, people, rabbis, you know, civilians protesting for the Palestinians, especially Orthodox uh, Jewish people. So we have nothing against, you know, uh, Christian and Jewish people uh, inherently. But this is completely and utterly intolerable who is merciful over the vicious people ultimately will become vicious towards merciful people there is no permission from the Torah to have any mercy whatsoever during war not on children not on women not on anybody why because if a person understands what is war and why you're fighting that of civilians you know jewish muslim christian pagan that of any civilian is intolerable and it shall not be tolerated do support the palestinians palestine has the right to be free from these colonizers